So almost three years ago today, I released a video titled Arazi Arena Gaming Desk Speed Build. And that was where I went through essentially how to build the desk, kind of showed off my setup at the time. I thought it was really great for someone who is maybe in the market for a desk to be able to look at it, get an idea and see if maybe that's something that they do or do not want and then they can move on from there. That would be a great idea just to help someone come to that decision. So uh, that being said, I thought, you know what? It's been three years since I've had the desk. I can maybe go through, revisit it for someone who might be in the market for a gaming desk three years, <laughs> three years from the time that video was published. And I'm gonna go over the pros and cons, things I've come across with the desk and hopefully kind of um, help you come to a decision on if this desk is something that you do want. So let's check it out. Thank you all for stopping by. My name is The Video Game Prodigy. I like to do lots of video games, lots of like reviews on items such as this. If any of that is interesting to you, please feel free to hit that like and subscribe. It helps us out so much. So you don't have to go through the entire video searching for a yes or no. My vote is yes. I love the desk, it's great. Now let's go ahead and start getting down into more of an in-depth analysis of the desk. So let's move on to the dimensions of the desk. It's actually pretty big. It is not a solid rectangle shape. It's actually more of a crescent, um, which I think is really nice because I personally have two desktops, two keyboards, two monitors on the desk. So it makes it really easy for me to kind of reach across and go through all of my peripherals. It, it's, it's a nice shape. I prefer that over to a solid rectangle. As far as the dimensions go, it is 63 inches in width, 32 in length, and it is 25 inches in height. The height is actually adjustable based off of Arazi's website up to an extra, I think it was 4.9 or 3.9 inches. It's an extra, yeah, 3.9 inches is correct. So you can adjust the height anywhere from 25 inches to 28 inches. Uh, however, I personally have it just as the lowest that it can go. It's just sitting at the standard 25 and that's perfect for myself, uh, especially with paired up with the height of the uh, DX Racer gaming chair. So going into the price of the Arazi Arena Gaming Desk, going straight from the manufacturer's website, it is going for $449.99, so almost $500 for this desk. I'm sure it's definitely gonna be a little over that, including taxes, shipping, so on and so forth. So you might maybe wanna bargain hunt, maybe try Amazon or uh, Best Buy, see if you can find maybe a different price there. If the price is a little bit too high for you, they come in six different colors. There is the standard one, which is the one I have. It is a black legs uh, with the uh, desktop mouse pad that is a red trim with the signature Arazi A on it. I like it just because it kind of matches my setup. My setup match is more of the red and black kind of theme. So I think it is perfect for my setup. However, there is a blue legs, kind of like an electric blue with a blue trim on a solid black mat. There is a green, almost like a lime green with a green trim on a solid black map or mat. There is a solid black all the way around if you're looking for something a little bit more neutral, black legs, black mat, black trim. And there is one that is even more red. It has the red legs with the included of the Arazi Arena Signature A with a red trim on it. And last but not least, the white leg with a red trim on a black mat, which I think personally is a little weird. I think maybe if they had a white trim that would match the theme that I would see that they were going for. Now keep in mind, you can't quite mix and match the like the mats with the legs so if for whatever reason you wanted the green legs with the blue trim mat you can do that however you would have to buy the green leg mat and then go to the manufacturer's website and purchase the mat itself for a hundred dollars so you would kind of have to do that it's a little sucky but at least the option is there maybe so speaking of the mouse pad that comes with the desk it is actually it covers the entire desk it's pretty much flush um, so it's, it's really nice. It definitely has its pros and cons. For pro, it's nice, it's sleek, it's cloth. And for cons, it is a giant cloth mat that goes on top of your desk. If you're someone like me, who likes to maybe eat some food, snack on something, have a drink of coffee in the morning while I'm at my office doing work or playing games, you are putting yourself at risk of spills. 
Granted, the mouse pad is water resistant, it is not waterproof. Um, there are definitely have been times where I've reached over across my desk to go to my other keyboard or to go grab my phone and I've knocked over a drink or two or five. Um, that being said, the mouse pad can be washed. Uh, I went through the manufacturer's instructions. I put it in the washing machine. If I'm not, don't quote me on this. I think it was like gentle, cold, and let it air dry. Uh, I recommend personally letting it air dry for about two to three days just to make sure you get all of that moisture out of the mat itself. And it definitely helped. It didn't make the mat brand new by any means, but it was definitely nicer, that is for sure. Now, if it ever comes to a time where you've kind of messed up the mat beyond recognition or you want just to have a newer one, you can purchase another mat from the manufacturer, any color mat that you want, and it's about $100. So you can buy the individual part that way. So going on to one of the big things that I kind of look for in desks is cable management. I don't like to really see cables and I kind of do the best that I can to make them look tidy or to hide them, so on and so forth. The desk comes with three holes in the actual desktop itself. The middle segment has one hole, left segment has one hole, and the right segment has one hole. They're in the back, it has three holes in the back. And that's where you can feed your cables down below the desk. However, the desk gets very thin. Um, there's not really a lot of space with the desk to hide the cables. It comes with a net to where that you can put underneath the entire desk and you can lay your cables in there, which is definitely cool. It's definitely great. However, it is a net. It's going to kind of droop and sag and you can definitely see it. It's not going to hide them. It's just going to kind of keep the cables uh, a little bit more tame. It's definitely a plus. I like that it's there. However, myself personally, I kind of see that this is a con. I wish there was more of a kind of like a shelf unit that was there big enough to hold kind of like a six prong power supply in there or something like that or even something small to where I can just feed my cables through and it can go up into each individual segment of the desk. Uh, so I personally just recently took off the netting entirely and I purchased kind of like a plastic cable management off of Amazon. I think it was like five rails for $17 and I only used three of them and they're adhesives. So I stuck one under each segment of the desk because the desk comes in three segments, a right, a left, and a middle. And I, um, it helped a lot. I obviously didn't keep all the cables away, but the before and after looks a lot better. So revisiting the size of the desk, I think it is definitely a very good size. However, myself personally, I do wish it was a little longer. Um, I don't know if I would definitely say that it's a con, but being someone who has two computers on the desk and two monitors, they fit and I made it work. However, my desktop itself is one of those with a side view panel and out of preference, I kind of wanted to have the desk sideways so I can see it. Um, so if I were to have it sideways, it would kind of be behind the monitors and kind of out of view and I, I didn't exactly like that. So temporarily I put kind of like a little side desk there where I have it and it, it looks a lot better, I think. Uh, I personally wish the desk was a little bit longer. However, I don't know if I would say that that's a con. I think that's more of a personal preference thing rather than just something I think that it should have came straight from the manufacturer. So last topic we're gonna to touch on, I've seen a lot of people complain about this on the internet. I personally have never really encountered this but it is desk wobble. Lots of people have been saying that the desk will wobble back and forth. They can't really get it to um, stop really. It's to the point where Arazi had to release a video kind of like trying to guide users on how to prevent the desk from wobbling. But there's actually a couple different things that are uh, built into the desk to kind of counteract that. There are little height adjusters inside the legs themselves. So you can ensure both legs are the same height. And on top of that, under each leg has two little height adjustment knobs. Those are um, basically little plastic um, round flat little stands where you can adjust the height of them. Like I said, there's two on each leg for a total of four since there are only two little legs on the desk. And uh, th th those are what I use. I personally have never encountered the wobbling issue at all, but I would definitely, if you do purchase the desk or if you do have the desk and you do have that issue, I would definitely recommend trying to toy around with those little plastic standoffs underneath the legs and see if that'll fix your issue for you. So one thing that I have kind of run into with the desk was the shipping. Um, 
the wood isn't exactly the most resistant. Um, it's kind of like a laminate wood, I think. Uh, I'm not too sure, so don't quote me on that. So whenever it came in from shipping, it's all covered in foam and it's pretty protected. However, whenever I unboxed it and took apart each individual wood segment, they were kind of like scratched, dinged, torn. It's very minor, but it, it did kind of suck that as soon as it arrived, you had those issues. However, you could re you could reach out to a Razi if you definitely have that issue. Send them photos of what happened and they'll definitely help you out every step of the way with that goes. So that's what I had to do. Uh, but it does kind of suck that you do have to worry about something you have to look out for as soon as the desk does arrive that to the wood might be thing. And if you're the type of person who doesn't care about that, perfect, because in the end, you're more than likely going to be putting the giant desktop mouse pad over it anyway, so it's not really something that you're going to see. Um, but if you're the type who likes to keep things you know, clean and taken care of, that is something that I would definitely recommend to look out for. So let's go ahead and revisit everything. The price of the desk is $449.99. I would expect it to be a little bit higher uh, with taxes, shipping. So if it, the price is a little bit higher for you, I definitely recommend looking through other retailers and not just through the manufacturer, Best Buy, Amazon, see if they might have some deals going there as well. I know the holiday season is looking to come up, so maybe hold out a little bit, see if the prices drop on those desks a little bit. I personally think it's definitely worth the money, so I, I, I think you should definitely try to do something like that. The dimensions of the desk is 63 inches by 32 inches by 25 inches, adjustable up to 27.9 on the height of the desk, anywhere from 25 to 27.9. Those, it is, the dimensions I think are, are great, uh, especially if you're just like to game on it. It is a perfect size. It's huge. It's, I think it's very great. Cable management is kind of, um, if I had to rate it anywhere between a one through 10, I'd probably give it about a five, like the effort is there, but it just kind of keeps the cables from drooping everywhere. It, it, the drooping just kind of stays in one place. Uh, I think there is definitely some improvement that could have been on that. The desk has the possibility to wobble, so there are ways to counteract that. I think that might be something a little bit more on the user end, not necessarily, not necessarily a flaw with the desk, just something to look out for. The shipping, watch out for the laminate wood on the actual desktop itself, one of the three segments that can get nicked, scratched, dinged. That's something that is definitely a con to look out for. Uh, it is easy cleanup. If you spill something on it, it is water resistant, however, not waterproof but you can wash it, you can purchase another mat if it does get scratched, torn, stained. That is an option for you, and it comes in six different colors. So hopefully I've answered every question that you may have had. If not, please leave a comment down below. I will answer it as soon as I see it, and uh, who knows, maybe someone else might have the same question as you, and we'll answer it for another person as well. But thank you all so much for watching. If this did help you come to a decision, whether that's yes or no, please let me know down in the comments. Hit that like button, it helps me out so much. And if you wanna see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. Really appreciate it. Thank you all so much for watching. This is the Video Game Prodigy, and I'll see you guys next time.